Well, good morning, Cyber Traders, and welcome to this lovely Monday on October 15th. Hopefully, everyone had, uh, enjoyed their long weekend. Kind of happy my, uh, my Jets won, so we're on a winning streak. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed this weekend. Uh, hopefully, everybody, and also, we're right smack in the middle of October. It, it, let me tell you, last week was one fun week. Was that, was that unbelievable? There's just been a great, great week. We had some great volatility. Market dropped tremendously. We had a nice little rally coming back. So uh, made a lot of money on some of these ETFs, especially this one right here, the UVXY. Did I not tell you back in September? Remember what I told you guys? I said, listen, I'm a little nervous about the market. You always have an October crash. I said, just an insurance policy. Just buy the UVXY. And if you guys um, jumped in, everyone should have got it right before the split. I didn't know. I actually called it out before the split. And then it actually backed off a little bit, but not a lot. I mean, it was at 40, and it dropped down to like 36, 37. Everybody should have gotten about 38 back into 40 again. And look, it ran all the way to 60. So, I mean, that little insurance policy worked out pretty well. And then, and then hopefully everybody could see what's going on with the market, and you got out of it. Um, I was in cash. I sold everything. I bought a couple of things back. I bought the, I bought the, 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 the BJ's back a little bit yesterday on Friday. Uh, I got it pretty cheap. Um, you know, you always got to be concerned if you break that all-time low. But there were a lot of good ones. Nero was good, NIO, uh, NIO, but there's a couple of good stocks. We'll talk a little bit about those. But um, just, uh, guys, I just want you to be very, very cautious, you know, going into this October type of the year. You know, obviously, you see some great volatility. We had a great, great rally, you know, and um, there's always a nice little October crash. So, um, you know, people like to take profit-taking. Listen, the, ele the, the midterm elections are right around the corner. So we got to be really cautious on that. Listen, the, be the best thing is, is this. Whatever happens, if you're in cash now, you could always buy it back, right? And if it goes up a little bit, great. But if, it, if this stock market goes down to $23,000, you are going to wish you sold it sooner. And the only way you learn that is being you know, here in the cyber group and learning how to day trade. And that is the most important thing. All right, now, um, uh, regarding about this morning and what we're going to look at, just really quick, uh, really quick, just talking about, remember, Wednesday, guys, is the start of the soiree. Uh, before we do our phase four, which is the on-site class, hope everyone's all set up. Looking forward to seeing everybody. It's going to be fun. And what's going to be more fun is that you guys get to meet each other. Again, you uh, reunite a bunch of you guys that haven't seen each other in a while. It's one of the great events that we do here. And also for you newbies, you really, really learn a lot to get to it. And also when you become to an on-site, you become C2 certified. So one of the big things about coming to the on-site is that we make you certified to each other's so that's your final uh that's your final lesson that we do here in cyber train university so it's always great to do that all right now regarding um what's going on this morning uh but let me just talk about what happened on friday there were a couple of good stocks first of all the uvxy had a great great rally you can see it ran about 10 points great mover you know but once again this stock is in the four category maybe even the five category very very volatile you can't trade a lot of stock a lot of shares of that EVIX was another one that follows suit with it. Um, same thing. These all these big shorts that were out there. Another one that did pretty well. AMRN was another good stock. Um, not the biggest winner on the pre-market side, but on the swing trading side, the stock has been awfully strong. A lot of you guys did very well. The PXY. By the way, this is all. This is all the stocks we're talking about. What happened on Friday? Some of you guys missed out. This one also did really well, too. Um, this stock was a great, great move. You, know, you can see the stock ran from 25 to about 50 in about less than a week. Not the greatest move in, in, in the early mornings, but we did get that nice little pop. We went from 42 to 46. That one was not bad. LB, let me pop this up here. Another stock had a nice little move right out of the gate, ran from 30 to 31.60, and then just kind of stopped right there. So we kind of did pretty well on that. ACRX, another one, last one I just want to talk about. Uh, the ACRX, you know, took a big hit, came back, was on uh, the, it was the third biggest gainer list. It was halted on Friday in pre-market, and it didn't open until after the market closes. So, you know, you can see now how that stock's going to react now, and that's one of the stocks that is going to make the watch list this morning. Now, regarding about this morning, listen, it is Monday, okay? And when we know about Mondays, weekend, you know, not a lot of news that comes over the weekend. So um, with that said, you know, not that much action. I think Ben posted up in there. There was some bad news, right, about Sears, right? 
They're closing a lot of stores. Listen, unfortunately, those catastrophes make for opportunities. For some of us in our heart, we're big fans of Sears. You're like, ah, oh, you know, it's so sad. Another, another big uh, company taking a big hit. They actually closed the big store uh, not too far from my house. But would that still stop you from going into the store and buying it? They're going to be selling everything 50 to 75% off, right? So when it comes to that, you know, you got to look at it. They're like, yeah, as much as I, you know, it's sad to see that. And, and you might have a, you know, you feel bad for them. Would that still stop you from going to the store and getting a good deal? Well, guess what? That same exact approach, the reason why I'm bringing that up is the same philosophy that I'm trying to bring up when it comes to trading. You know, unfortunately, catastrophes make for opportunities. So, you know, you can't let your personal feelings or beliefs hold you against not from making money from those companies out there. Okay. Because that's what you are. You are a trader. And you always have to remember that. And every day you hear, you learn something new every day. Now, let's go over to a couple of stocks that are moving and um, what, we're, what we're looking to trade. But that's going to be your tip of the day. And uh, let's go see what's going on this morning. First of all, ears. AERS has been on our watch list all morning, and she's finally going to be testing that resistance again. Ears has been uh, a nice little mover stock. Uh, it was, it was kind of holding dead here for a little while, right around here. But look at these iceberg orders, 10,000, 5,000. Big, 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 nice ice orders. Let's see if they get taken out right here at this resistance levels right here. If it does, the stock could pop. So hopefully some of you already got into it. I can see already some of you are doing pretty well. Frank is already plus. 41 cents on that. Let's give him a round of applause. Congrats. Good for you. Way to go. All right. And Ben also did really well on it. He already jumped in. Guys, remember, that's how we make a lot of our money in the pre-market. You know, people don't look at that, but that's where it is. All right. First of all, look at those big orders that are coming in. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. A 20,000 share buyer. Yeah, that, that's, not, that's not a buyer. <laughs> all right. CRON's another one. Put on our watch list. Uh, she just she was a great runner, a little bit of a nice little runner on Friday, but she's coming back a little bit this morning. Uh, you can see she was at the fifteen dollar price range. She dropped down to right around the nine. She's coming back. That one's going to make the watch list. ACRX, another one. Uh, you know, it's been on a nice little move in the past three days. Closed pretty strong on Friday. One I just mentioned. I don't know, she's kind of holding at these support levels right here. And you can see she's got some resistance levels right around here going back into July. You can see you got some resistance. I big iceberg order, 21,000 charity selling there. So we'll keep an eye on that guy. Uh, you know, I know some of you guys were, were looking at this one, A, B, C, D. And that's just that's the alphabet. That's an actual stock, by the way. <laughs> it's a learning group. <laughs> but um, I don't know if I think it's a buyout because it's not really going anywhere. You can see how it gapped up right there. So you could scratch that one out. I know you guys are mentioning it. Some of you that would know when you start trading, you know how to look for buyouts like that. I N O. Another one that's uh, gapped up a little bit this morning, about 6%, 64,000 shares. That one is OK. And then the N I O. Let's keep an eye on that one. Looks like it's testing eight. We made a lot of money on that IPO. Um, actually, over the weekend here in Long Island, there's like this big car show here at Manhasset, uh, uh, the Miracle Mile. And if you guys are from Long Island, but it's like uh, it's like Miracle Mile is like, uh, uh, you know, it's like uh, Fifth Avenue. You know, it's they did a Rodeo Drive. There's like three places where the most expensive stores are. Well, they do this big car show and Tesla had a big, big, big booth there. And we were talking about, I was talking to the guy there regarding, because I actually was one of those suckers that put a $1,000 deposit on the new Tesla. So anyway, I was talking about the Nero, and they were like, and we were talking about the one of the partners actually bought 11% stake in it. So anyway, they love the competition. They love what's going on. They love what they're doing. Um, but, uh, but once again, that's not our problem. Our problem is to make money. <laughs> so if that stock is trending up and doing well, we did really well with it. The only thing got to be very careful with the stock NIO is we know from looking at your journals, this stock is extremely volatile. So keep a very, very close eye on that. But that one's looking pretty, pretty good as not only as a day trade, but over a swing trade. And remember, some of you guys really cleaned up. Uh, let me just bring the time frame and change this. I know, uh, let me put this five day chart. We had that nice little gap up right here. That's when that news came out right there. All right, everybody. So there's your watch list. Now, I know we got a lot of new members that are starting today. Uh, we always tell them to start on Monday. So listen, the, the beauty about this, guys, is that you start on Monday. By Wednesday, you sure already know if trading's for you.
just look, listen, and learn. Be focused in the morning hours. Try to be early in pre-market. Try to be here in the afternoon. You only got to be. One, you only need to see a couple of these big movers to realize this is for you or not. Um, is it for everybody? No. Should it be? Yes. But you got to learn before you can earn. So most important thing is you went over those videos. You talked to your education advisor this week and just listen to the traders. Don't watch me. Watch them and see if they make money because that's what it's all about. All right, guys. Good luck. It looks like a lot of you guys are making money on years, huh? Yep. Listen, stock traded 3.9 million shares. Look at that pop. Look at that baby pop. Beautiful. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Andrea, 50,000 share iceberg order uh, at a buck 50. Ken already made 12 cents on 2,500 shares. Let's give him a round of applause. Way to go. Nice to go, Ken. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading. And I will see you all at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. In the meantime, everyone, see something, say something. Well, you know, we always find new ones that come out when the market opens up. So uh, not always are going to move. And the ones that don't, don't worry about it. We'll find new ones. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.